friends, today we're talking about two new Microsoft 365 Copilot agents, Analyst and Researcher. These are designed to help Copilot go deeper to do things like analyze your sales data. So let's jump right in and see how these work. You can access both of these agents right from Microsoft Teams or here on the new Microsoft 365 homepage. Just look on the left-hand side and you'll see the Agents tab and you should see Analyst and Researcher here. If not, just select All Agents and it should show up in the Built by Microsoft section. So you're probably wondering when we would use regular Copilot or one of these agents. I like to think of Copilot as your general practitioner. It's good at a lot of things. It can help you summarize information, organize your thoughts, draft new content. But sometimes you need to call in a specialist and that's where these agents come in. The analyst agent is like your data expert. It's perfect for those situations where you want to explore spreadsheets, find trends, spot outliers, or summarize rows of data. And the researcher agent is your strategic thinker. It's great for exploring unstructured information like documents, emails, chat, data from the web. And it can do things like help you understand your market and audience and different trends. So let's take a look at the researcher agent and see how this works in action. Let's click on the researcher agent and open to start the conversation. We have a few starter props so we can get an idea of exactly what we can do with the researcher agent. So in my case, I wanna do some market analysis on the AI power user audience. So I put together this prompt. I'm letting researcher know that I'm conducting market analysis on AI power users, and I want it to help me define what qualifies an AI power user. And I want this to be based off of transactional patterns in our data. Identify different trends, segments, and clusters of users across regions and demographics. Compare their purchasing behavior to non-power users. Recommend opportunities to expand. And finally, I'm instructing it to use any relevant files, reports, or communications in the findings. Now we'll send in this prompt and we'll see what researcher comes back with. And one thing that you'll notice here is first, it's not going to come back with an immediate answer. So it took some time to digest exactly what I'm asking. And like any good researcher would do, it's going to ask some pointed follow-up questions to make sure it gets what we want. It's asking me to specify if I have any specific regions or industries or product lines that it should focus on. So I'll tell it to include all regions, industries, and product lines. I'll ask it to prioritize product growth metrics. And for the visuals, I'll say include word clouds, plot charts, and bar charts. Now it's going to go to work. And another thing that you'll notice here is it's going to take quite a bit longer than normal Copilot. And that's because it is using deep research to come back with an answer. And that takes a lot more time. And as it's going through and doing the research, we're able to see in real time what it's thinking and what it's doing behind the scenes. I can click on this icon to show more and that's what will allow me to see the thinking process of what the agent is doing. So it's begun the research, it's refining the search query, it's exploring what AI power users are, it's going to define and segment that audience, and now it's contemplating on what data sources to pull from. Then it's taking into account the search results that it received and seeing if those align. It's formulating an analysis approach. It's planning the content presentation of how it should display this information back to me. Now it's considering the visual elements to display, exploring different trends, and analyzing data sources again. Now I did a little bit of editing there to cut out some of that time, but all in all, this took about three minutes or so to get the end result. So let's take a look at what it gave us. We have a nice executive summary right off the top to summarize some of this key information. We've got some quick visuals here to see the productivity boost of using AI, the global adoption and the top adopter country. As I asked, it's defining what an AI power user is based off its research. It's listed out the trends that I've asked for based off of region. Here's the tie back into our product lines and specific use cases. And we have some recommendations. So as you can tell, much more in depth than what we would get by using Copilot alone. Now let's take a look at the analyst agent. So we're gonna go over to the left-hand side and we'll select analyst. And for this one, let's take a look and see if it can help me analyze a certain Excel file. So I've got this big Excel file with a bunch of sales data. It seems endless. There's multiple tabs for products, customers, and a summary and all of that. And I wanted to do some analysis on this file. So I'll paste in this prompt that I've already written where I'm asking it to analyze the Excel file. I want it to identify top performing products by region and total sales, detect any unusual patterns or outliers, 
suggest customer segments, recommend visualizations, and summarize the findings. Now this file I haven't uploaded yet into OneDrive, so what I can do is click on this plus button, say add content, and I can upload directly from my device. So now I've just given it that Excel file and it can go and do its analysis. So I'll click enter there and have it go to work. And behind the scenes, as we look at what it's thinking and doing, it's actually using Python to do this analysis. And just like the researcher agent, we can see the real-time steps of what it's doing. And this was actually pretty fast. I did very minimal editing on this one. And if we look, it seems like it did exactly what I asked it for. At the top, we have our top performing products and regions. It looks like the West is outperforming all the other regions there. I have my top customers by total purchases. And here are those unusual patterns and outliers. So it looks as far as sales, volume, and pricing that we don't have any outliers, but with product trends, certain products are consistently high performers, suggesting strong customer preference. So that's a good insight. And it's recommended some visualizations and we see at the end, it's actually asking us, do we want it to generate some of these? So I'm going to say, sure, please generate the bar charts. And let's see what it can do for us. So it's going to take that context of the previous conversation that we had, where I passed in that Excel file, and it's going to run through again some more Python, and it's going to generate those bar charts for us. And there we go, we have a nice bar chart that I can copy and paste and put in a PowerPoint deck to report up to my leadership. So that in a nutshell is the power of the analyst and the researcher agents. They're like having a data scientist and a researcher on your team, and they're just a click away inside of Microsoft 365 Copilot. I use each of these agents on a weekly basis in my job to help me with things. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope this video gave you some ideas of how you can incorporate it into your daily workflow. Before you go, if you found this video helpful, please click on that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.